Hello. We are going over the 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. You are watching this on the Holagoy channel of YouTube. I'm a Holagoy, and you can be one too. 324 biblical prophecies that prove Jesus is the Messiah. Prophecy number 73. They pierced his hands and his feet. We find this prophecy in the book of Psalms, chapter 22, verse 16. Dogs have surrounded me. A band of evil men have encircled me. They have pierced my hands and my feet. We find the fulfillment of this prophecy in the book of John, chapter 9, verses 34 to 37. Instead, one of the soldiers pierced Jesus' side with a spear, bringing a sudden flow of blood in water. And as another scripture says, they will look at the one they have pierced. We also find this prophecy fulfilled in the book of John, chapter 20, verse 27. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here. See my hands? Reach out your hand and put it here in my side. Start, stop doubting and believe. In the book of Psalms, it speaks of an attack. Now, some people would argue the linguistics, that it doesn't actually refer to a piercing, but rather refers to a, a lion attacking. Uh, I suppose a lion's teeth or claws would be similar to a piercing. Um, that put aside, we, we see in the book of Psalms that King David was speaking of being attacked being surrounded by dogs and evil men encircling him. They, whether it's the evil men or dogs or if it's lions, have pierced my hands and my feet. The hands and the feet are the outer extremities of a person. You exist as a person, your body, your head is a little bit away from your body, your arms, your legs are also a little bit away from your body. Your hands and your feet, those are the furthest away from, from, from you physically. They're the furthest away from the center core of, of, of your body. They're the extremities. What King David is speaking here is the attack occurring, the piercing, the, the attack targeting the, the legs and the feet, the most difficult parts to defend oneself against. When Israel was in the desert, the nation of Amalek came against them. The nation of Amalek attacked the outer extremities of the camp, the people that were not closely guarded, close, closely inside of the camp, the ones that are further out, um, the ones that were least protected, those are the ones that Amalek attacked. We find this today in missionary activity against a, with the Jewish people. Missionaries have learned through trial and error that it's a complete waste of time to try to missionize observant Jews. These can be observant Orthodox Jews, uh, modern, even Reformed Jews. The Jews that have a clear understanding of who they are, 
that they are Jews, they have a knowledge of Torah on some, some manner, those people do not convert to Christianity. Missionaries have learned to target those that are further away from their identity, just as Amalek did. Target the people that don't stay with the camp. Those are the ones that can accept Christianity because they just simply don't know any better. Those are the hands and the feet that are being pierced by the evil, by the evil men and by the dogs and by the lions. Yes, Jesus was pierced in the hands and the feet. That was the hanging on the cross. But that is not what King David is speaking of. The prophecies seem to, according to the Hope of Israel Baptist Mission, the prophecies being fulfilled in John seem to concentrate on the, the spear that comes through his side. That, of course, has nothing to do with his hands and his feet, but... I guess it's a piercing, so that's that's what they focus on. But it it's it's not the right kind of piercing. The next prophecy we'll be looking at stripped him before the stairs of men. Psalms twenty two verses seventeen and eighteen. Thank you very much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.